Hey fam and welcome back to I Love Me Me Me. So my name is Marshawn for those of you who are finding me for the very first time and I am a life and relationship strategist. I help men and women alike to create the relationship that they so want, need, and desire by supplying them with easy tips and tools in order to implement into their relationship so they can create that wonderful blessed relationship. So today we're going to be talking about the I'll be happy when syndrome right after this. All right, fam, thanks for returning to I Love Me, Me, Me. So I'll be happy when. That is a statement that so many people live by and they often repeat. And a lot of people think that they will be happy when a future event is going to occur or is about to occur, never realizing that they are robbing themselves from the life that they should be currently living and the moments that they should be currently in. So a lot of people think I'll be happy when, specifically to relationships, I'll be happy when I get in a relationship. But then when they get in a relationship, they think I'll be happy when he proposes, right? And then when he proposes, okay, okay, sure. I'll be happy when we get married. And then we get married. And then I'll be happy when we have a child. And then you have your child. And I'll be happy when I get pregnant again. So the cycle just goes on and on. And I know that that example was mainly geared toward women. But some men do the same thing when it comes to the relationship. Because men, quiet as it's kept, okay, quiet as it's kept, men out there definitely want to be in relationships. They want to be in healthy relationships. And they are actively seeking these types of relationships. So they will be happy when they get into a relationship and then they'll be happy to be able to call a person their girlfriend and then they'll be happy when he does propose to her. They do the exact same thing. Maybe not as often, but they do the exact same thing. So I'm gonna give you four reasons why the I'll be happy when syndrome is robbing your happiness right now. First of all, it is taking away from your thoughts today now, meaning because you are so focused on what the future may bring, what the future holds, you are never living in that moment. You're always thinking about what and you're always thinking about what you can reach toward. And all of the beautiful moments, all of the beautiful happy times that could be occurring in your life, especially in your relationship, they are passing you by. Because you're always thinking ahead. And it's good to think ahead. Don't get me wrong. It's good to think ahead. However, you want to slow down and enjoy most of your moments that you have today because tomorrow is actually not promised for any of us. It's not. And so you really need to live right now where you're at. The second thing to realize is the frutality in this way of thinking because happiness is never over there. Happiness is always where you're at. And as I told you, and I said it multiple times, happiness absolutely is a choice. The grass is not always greener over there. It's not. Sometimes people have down that fake grass, that, fer that fake turf down. So the grass ain't always greener. Water your seeds in your own lawn. Your grass can be green. Your happiness is a choice. Another thing to think about when you're thinking about the I will be happy when syndrome is that is actually taking away your attitude of gratitude. All of the beautiful things that you have, the wonderful relationships that you already have, whether it's with a partner, spouse, husband, wife, or not, you have more than likely you have parents or guardians in your life, siblings in your life, cousins in your life, co-workers in your life, and, and some of those co-workers can actually be deep, true friendships as well as your friends. So think about all of the relationships that you actually already have in your life. Think about how you woke up this morning. Think about how you was able to breathe. Because so many things and so many things that we currently have in our life, others do not. And we take them for granted. Like being able to just breathe. I don't have an oxygen tank on me. But there's some other people out there that do have an oxygen tank. I have my sight. There's many people that are blind. 
I can hear lots of people that are deaf. I can speak lots of people who cannot speak, right? I can move my limbs. I actually have all of my limbs. Some people don't, right? The Adopt the attitude of gratitude no matter how small. You'll see how much happier you will be. And that I'll be happy when syndrome will fly away. It will dissipate. It will disappear. But you need to be happy right now. You have to have the attitude of gratitude today, right now. Because again, happiness is never over there. Happiness is right here. The fourth and final thing to think about when you're stuck in the I'll be happy when syndrome is that you will never thrive doing that. The key to thriving in your life is to have goals and a purpose and enjoy the present moments now. So don't miss out on any of the joys and happiness that you have in your life right now thinking about the when. Live your happier days today. So I ask you, fam, are you going to stop living in the I'll be happy when? Yeah. How will you now show up? Are you going to be more grateful? Let me know. Let's continue the conversation down in the comment section below because you know that this is a dialogue here. It is not a monologue. And I love to hear what you guys have to say. I'll see you again tomorrow when we discuss the how to get over the I'll be happy when syndrome.